Hello coloring friends and welcome to a new video. It's a happy mail one. Um, I was contacted I think last weekend by someone on Instagram called Sienna um, that she wanted to gift me some books and uh, that she was convinced that I didn't have them. And this afternoon I got a uh, message from the post office that I had a package waiting from Amazon. So after work time I went there and picked the box up. Sienna told me already that um, there were three books inside and I was wow. Uh, I was overwhelmed with such generosity and of course I couldn't wait to open the package. And I can tell you I'm super excited. So and if you don't know Sienna, uh, look up her Instagram account. She doesn't have a YouTube channel, but she has fantastic colorings posted on her Instagram account. Uh, if you want to take a look at those, um, search for Sienna de Bruyne. She's a Dutch colorist and she really colors the style that I like. Um, fantasy creatures, fairies, um, pictures of Jasmine Beckett, Griffith, you name it, we have a lot in common, I think, uh, coloring wise. It's um, and she picked three books. Wow, I'm super, super happy, Sienna. Thank you very, very much. Two of the three were on my wish list uh, a while ago. I've updated it um, a few times ago, and then they were on and off and on and off and. Now they can stay off because, wow, oh, I'm so happy. And the third one, I didn't even know that it existed. So um, I will, without further ado, show you what she got me. And I will do a small flip through in case you don't know these books. But I'm sure many of you already do. So the first one is Fantasy Adventure by Eric Messenger. This one I already knew. This was one of the books that were hopping on and off of my wish list. Um, and wow, I'm so happy because I was always tempted to buy this one, but then another one popped up. And yeah, not that I pushed this away because I didn't like the artwork anymore, but yeah, you have to make some choices and uh, I could buy Amazon I could buy any coloring book from Amazon, so I always had to, yeah, consider what what will I be buying first, and oh, it's fantastic. She really knows what I like, and super happy. And I believe um, I've, I've I've seen another review about this book. Is it on coloring in the dark? This channel isn't active anymore as far as I know but the woman behind that channel um, did some great reviews and I think she talked about uh, Eric Messenger's artwork or his I think he has two or three books um, and she did a, a great review about it if I'm not mistaken it was coloring in the dark one of my favorite coloring channels so I'm really sad that she isn't doing any flip throughs anymore um, but okay, I will do one now for you guys. So oh, look at that troll and the color wheel. On the left side, some info about uh, the artist. And some tips and tricks. Wow, look at, look, look what he's what his artwork is like and digital colorings. I haven't colored digital ever. And yeah, I, I, I like the, the feeling of a pencil so much that I, I don't think I ever will start coloring digitally. Oh, look at this one. Oh, this is so my style. Look how beautiful, oh, is it the adorable, beautiful women, ugly men, <laughs> still cute, <laughs> and 
And here we go into the artwork, I think. Paper quality is quite good. Not super thick, but definitely not super thin. I think I can compare it with the paper of the Coloring Heaven magazines. So I'm sure I can use water media on this one. Oh, and here on the left side there's a description of the picture on the other page. And a quote. A dragon in flower bed. Ooh, kind of a warrior, I think. Another giant. Ooh, an elf. Wow. Ooh, that's special. A snake, a dragon, a lion, and a goat, or I don't know how these. Uh, this creature is called in English. Aha, and here you have, I did see it on, on, on a review, that you had some pictures where you could color by number, so to speak, but without the numbers printed. But here you have the small um, thumbnail so that you can copy the colors. I don't think I will do that. I will I will t give them my own clothing and but it's nice if you're not inspired it's definitely nice to try. Now well, sea monster. Beautiful artwork. He, he's cute. And this is kind of a, um, how do you call these things? A phoenix, yeah. And I think he's from the front page. Yes, he is. With the two dragons accompanying him. Oh, and there are little elves here. Didn't see those on the front cover. Oh yeah, indeed. Okay. Wow, fantastic. He has quite a beard. And a warrior bunny with some kind of goddess, maybe. It's always on the uh, back page or the back side of the page that the description is given from who's uh, featuring on the page. How will he be called? War Orc. Okay. <laughs> and he's looking like he's sitting in a salad. Flower Fairy. Okay. A dragon. Also, wow, very nice. You can do crazy things with these pictures. A lot of shading and uh, I don't know if these rough guys will be suitable for glitter, but I don't think I will uh, leave them alone with my glitter. Oh, this is also a fantastic one. Another big dragon. And here we are at the end of the book with some small thumbnails of uh, some of the artwork. Wow, fantastic. Really, wow. And look, it's quite a thick book too. So, okay, now for the next picture, I'm going to move my camera a little bit because I'm standing 
behind my camera and my back is already aching. Um, in fact, it's killing me a little bit, so I will have to make sure that I stand in a more relaxing position. But if I don't put my tripod as high as I do now, it's it's leaning on a on a chair, then um, I can't do a decent flip through because the box won't be in frame. So um, I'm going to take a pause for one second. We'll be I'll be back. Uh, Within the second, but I think I have to stretch a, a little bit. Okay, let me see if I can continue without making my back so uh, hurt. So, the second book she sent me is this one. Yay! I was blown away by the special art in this book. Wow, it... Sienna, how did you know that I love these two? <laughs> Okay, starting the flip through right away. And the title, I don't know what these are. I just draw these things. It's fantastic. A fantastic, um, yeah, fantastic name. <laughs> Otherworldly creatures. Indeed. Here we have that cute professor like man from the front cover. And a guy with an unearthly creature. Ah, so cute. <laughs> oh, I think he's not feeling uh, very comfortable. Sculpting a picture, uh, a statue, I mean. Beautiful artwork. It seems like he's had he has some bad plans. And he's peeping <laughs> to the bathing girls. And there are always a, a few little dragons here and there. Very cute. And here's a bigger one. I hope my face isn't in frame. I don't think it is, but... Fantastic. Really fantastic artwork. I don't know if uh, Fred von Noble has more coloring books. Because... Uh, it would be strange because he has some serious imagination, so to see. Ah, this is also so cute. This looks like it's kind of a Neptune guy. And this is also an uh, underwater creature. This one is looking like a, a little monster that we saw on a Netflix film this week. The Silence, it was called. There were a few strange creatures and they, they looked a bit like this one. Some kind of king. And some ghost out of a lamp, I think. can do so such amazing things with these books. Hmm. <laughs> Look at that face. <sighs> and you can go, go, go really wild with coloring in those guys. Do, are they purple? Are they green? You can go or you can do whatever you want. Hiding behind the tree. Oh, 
Okay, and here we are at the end, and here you have some blank testing pages, I think. And here are some a few, uh, the starting of a coloring in, and here the finished picture. Look what, what beautiful artwork you can create a coloring in. It's, isn't it fantastic? Wow, super, super happy. And then the last book is one that I didn't even know the existence of. Beauty and the Beast, of course, I know there are Beauty and the Beast coloring books, but this one I didn't know. I don't know who's printed this either. Lemon Drop coloring? Lemon Drop. I know that from somewhere. Don't they usually publish kawaii coloring books? I don't know. I, I know this, the company name. Lemon Drop. Okay. Are, am I in frame? Yes. Oh, wow. With an... Uh, with the story in front. Okay, wow. Beautiful artwork. Aha, okay, continuation of the story. Oh, it seems that every time there's a bit of a story and because I, I I saw a, a merchant of, or something like that on the um, former page. Orange trees, yeah. So you have a little story here and then in, in the next page is the visualization of it. So here it's, um, he wandered the forest until he found an avenue of orange trees that led up to an impressive castle. So I know already that these are orange trees. Oh, that's great. And then again, a little story and the visualization of uh, what you've just read here. Coloring F and KP from, uh, is it KP Colors? They will love this page. They, they adore to color food and I really want to try coloring food also, but I'm a bit scared. And here we have the beast. What a great setup for this book. And beautiful artwork. Very well drawn. Clothing and jewelry. Oh, can you imagine all the Kuretake gold paint here? And glitter. This must be Belle. Beautiful. And horses and... Well, what is, this is a, a, really a beautiful book. And I didn't even know it existed. Playing an instrument. Oh, this is beautiful with the frame. It's it's very unique. It's uh, yeah, very unique. Um, double page. A very unique setup. I wanted to say, also very beautiful. And some clothing and pearls. Birdcage. A ball. Yawning. Hmm. 
for the lovers of flowers and leaves. The perfect page. <laughs> can, you can also do a wash. Beautiful. A lot of people to color in here. And some food. And uh, a glass window from the bell and uh, the beast. Oh, lovely. And this is the end, I think. Yeah, and there's no extra info about Lemon Drop, but I know this company. So, yeah, this was my Happy Mail and flip throughs of the books that I received. I'm super happy with all three of them and I can't wait to dive in those. Sienna, thank you very, very much for thinking of me and uh, for sending me these three beauties. I will make very good use of them and uh, I can't thank you enough. Okay, I hope everyone enjoyed this uh, little video and I hope I will see you soon for the next one. Take care. Bye.